Hello, I welcome to UPSC Prelims Chaturya Series of Shantalakshmi IIS Academy, where we will discuss the daily prelims MCQs from the Hindu, Indian Express and PIB. Let's get started. The first question, consider the following statements about Corruption Perceptions Index. It is a global corruption ranking released by the World Bank. India ranked 85 out of 180 countries on the Corruption Perception Index for 2023. The index uses a scale of 0 to 100, where 0 is highly corrupt and 100 is very clean. How many of the statements given above is are correct? Only one, only two, all three, none of the above. Recently, India ranks in the Corruption Perception Index 2023 has slipped to 93 out of 180 countries with score of 39. About this index, it is an annual index released by Transparency International, a global civil society organization. Since its inception in 1995, the Corruption Perceptions Index has become the leading global indicator of public sector corruption. The CPI ranks 180 countries and territories by their perceived levels of public sector corruption on a scale of zero. Zero is nothing but highly corrupt to 100 that is nothing but very clear. It uses a data from 13 external sources including World Bank, World Economic Forum, Private Risk and Consulting Companies, Think Tanks and others. The main highlights of the CPI 2023 results show that most countries have made little to no progress in tackling public sector corruption. CPI, CPI global average score remains unchanged at 43 for the 12th year in a row. Denmark topped in the index for 6th consecutive year. Somalia was ranked last. Other countries occupying the bottom spots including Venezuela, Syria, South Sudan and Yemen. India has tied with Maldives, Kazakhstan and Lesto to rank at 93 out of 180 countries. In 2022, India was ranked at 85. Pakistan scored 29 with a rank of 133. China scored 42, occupying rank of 76. So the answer is only one because it is a global corruption ranking released by the Transparency International. A global civil society organization, not the World Bank. India ranked 93 out of 180 countries on the Corruption Perception Index for 2023, not 85. Moving to the next question, with reference to the snow leopard population assessment in India, consider the following statements. According to the report, the highest number of snow leopards are in Uttarakhand. The snow leopards population assessment in India program is an initiative of the Dehradun based Wildlife Institute of India. Which of the above statements is are correct? One only, two only. Both one and two, neither one nor two. The first scientific survey of the snow leopards in India shows the country is home to 1718 of the elusive cats the government said recently. The SPAA was launched by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change in 2019 as a part of population assessment of world's snow leopard program under Global Snow Leopard and Ecosystem Protection Program. The key highlights of this report, estimated snow leopards population in India stands at 718 with the highest in Ladakh. It is followed by Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim and Jammu and Kashmir. You can see the map here and the snow leopards presence in India. There are 780 snow leopards in India and only one third of their habitat is under legal protection. The snow leopard population assessment in India program is an initiative of the Dehradun based Wildlife Institute of India. About snow leopard, often termed as the ghost of mountain, 
It is an apex predator in Himalayan ecosystem. The features of this white grey coat spotted with a large black crocets. The habitat of these dual snow leopards range countries Afghanistan, Bhutan, China, India, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Mongolia, Nepal, Pakistan, Russia, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. The conservation status of this snow leopard vulnerable IUCN, vulnerable IUCN and Appendix 1 of CITS and Schedule 1 of Wildlife Protection Act 1972 declared a state animal of Ladakh and Himachal Pradesh. The conservation measures are the conservation measures of snow leopard, three significant landscapes under GSLEP, Emispiti, Nanda Devi, Gangotri and Anchan Jonga Tawang. Project Snow Leopard, Secure Himalayan Project, Kelo India Winter Games 2024 has adopted Snow Leopard as its mascot and named it Sheen E. Sheen. So the answer is two only because according to the report, the highest number of snow leopards are in Ladakh, not Uttarakhand. Moving to the next question, consider the following statements regarding Kangaroo lizard species. It is the first species of Agastya Gama genus in Western Ghats. They are mostly terrestrial and found in areas with dense leaf litter cover. These reptiles poor climbers and hence do not climb trees like other lizards. How many of the statements given above is are correct? Only one, only two, all three, none of the above. Recently, scientists have discovered a, a new kangaroo lizard species from the Western Ghats at Kulamavu in Iduki, Kerala. The new species Agaste Gama Edge or the Northern Kangaroo Lizard belongs to the Agamide family. It is the second, it is the second species of Agaste Gama genus in Western Ghats. Other one is Agaste Gama Bedomi. It is distinguished from Agastagama Bedomi by combination of scale characteristics and genetic traits. The features of these, a reduced fifth toe makes these reptiles poor climbers and hence do not climb trees like other lizards. Instead of, they are mostly terrestrial and found in areas with dense leaf litter cover. They feed on small insects. This variety of kangaroo lizards run fast and hide within dry leaves to evade predators. So the answer is only two because it is the second species of Agaste Gama genus, not first. Moving to the next question, consider the following statements with respect to the Bharat 5G portal. It aims to propel India's 5G capabilities, foster innovations, collaborations and knowledge sharing within the telecom sector. It was launched by the Department of Telecommunications. The Bharat 5G, the Bharat 5G portal is an integrated portal, is a comprehensive platform serving the interest of the startups, industry and academia in quantum, 6G, IPR and 5G domains. How many of the statements given above is are correct? Only one, only two, all three, none of the above. Recently, the Secretary, the Department of Telecommunication, Ministry of Communication launched the Bharat 5G portal, an integrated portal on the sidelines of Bharat Telecom 2024. The Bharat 5G portal is an integrated portal, is a comprehensive platform serving the interest of startups, industry and academia in quantum, 6G, IPR and 5G domains. It aims to propel India's 5G capabilities fostering innovations, collaborations and knowledge sharing within the telecom sector. The portal act as a one-stop solution for all quantum that nothing but IPR, POCS, pilot, 5G, 6G related works capturing academic and R&D developments, industry standards, OEMS and startups, MSMEs, and subject matter experts. Telecommunication Consultants India Limited is the implementation of the portal. So the answer is all three. 
moving to the next question with reference to payment banks consider the following statements its main focus is to offer remittance services and simple financial products they can issue credit cards it accept demand deposits only how many of the statements given above is are correct only one only two all three none of the above recently rbi action against payment paytm banks about payments bank is an is like any other bank but operating on a smaller scale without involving any credit risk in simple words in it carry it can carry out most banking operations but can't advance loans or issue credit cards it can accept demand deposits that is savings and current accounts not time deposits offer remittance services mobile payments transfers purchases and other banking services like atm debit cards net banking and third part third party fund transfers in september 2013 the reserve bank of india constituted a committee headed by dr nachiket mohor to study comprehensive financial services for small businesses and low income households the main object of this committee was to propose measures and achieving financial inclusion and increased access to financial services so the answer is only two because they cannot issue they cannot issue the credit cards thank you this is the today session